guys and welcome to Peter Rose Adventures. Welcome to the latest video. This video is a sales update. So sales I have made from 19th of December through to 19th of January. So for one month. So what I'll do, I'll share with you what the item is, where I got it from, um, paid for it, how much I paid for it, and sold it for, and also the profit. So please do enjoy. So this first one you see here are 14 Chelsea FC match day programs from 15th of August 2009 up until 9th of May 2010. If you like your match day programs and your team is Chelsea FC, just like Chelsea Bolton Wanderers, Terry Lampard, Drogba. Bashley Cole, ah, just just a few. Deco, Cavallio, Solomon Kalu, and I think that's Drogba again. Because I'm a big Chelsea fan, been a fan for years. Just just a few, not the greatest photos, but hey ho, because I've now got like a white sheet background, so it's much better. So I got these. Oh, also I've got some notes here. That I'm reading off because I always forget what I pay for them and that sort of thing. So do bear with. Um, I sold them on Wednesday the 19th of December. I got them at Car Boot Hook Road Arena uh, around September time. Um, if you've seen one of my Car Boot hauls. They're 7p each. So 98p in total for the 14. Sold them for... Overall, £20.90, which was £15 plus £5.90 postage there. Um, the profit I made was £9.63 uh, because it had to little quite heavy, over 2k. So, a different courier from parcel to go. So, yeah, not too bad really F for these ones. Um, that sort of respect. Because it's around like September time that I got these. So the next one, oh, uh, times three Doctor Who comics. Um, they're three comic book day ones. June 15, June 16 and June 17. Not bad to pick up comics. I like picking up comics when they're a good price. So they sold on Thursday the 20th of December. As you can see here at the top as well. Um, it's a charity shop in Epsom. Um, I got them on the 11th of October. I paid 25p each, which is 75p in total, because they are having a big deal um, on the 11th of October. Because that's when I, same one, when I got the whole 60 odd or whatever it was, comics, for 25p each. If you saw one of my um, charity shop hauls, I got them for 25p each. There. That's around about the 11th of October-ish. Um, I sold them for £13.70, as you can see, 10.50 plus 3.20 postage. Via the promote your listings um, feature on eBay. So you can promote your listings however you want. I've got 2% promoting my listings in that respect. So I made a profit of £8.68. From 75p, you can't grumble really, to be honest. The next one... Oh... A nice little Looney Tunes, 97 Warner Bros, the Tasmanian Devil um, beanie hat. If you can see the photos, quite mm, average photos there, but they still sell. If you had the beanie hat all the way through, you see the logo there on the outside. I would have kept it for myself, but it was too small. It's like a child's one for children and that. They sold on Saturday the 22nd of December. Um, I got it at a charity shop in Epsom on Monday the 5th of November. So it took a while to sell. Not mega loads, but it's for the winter time, that respect. So I only paid £1.50, really. Which I sold it for £13.70. And that one, which was a profit of £7.4p on that one. The next one here... Is, oh, just the usual 
PlayStation 2, 8 megabyte, memory card, Magic Gate, Sony. It's the, for gamers out there, SCPH-10020 number. Because you get different numbers on the back of the uh, memory cards sometimes. Might see better there. Made in Japan. This came um, free in a game. Because I got this um, last car boot season last summer. Summer 18. 2018. And the guy I got it off didn't realise it was in there. I brought a bunch of games. And so it's basically what you call free. I don't like gain much money these things. It sold on the 28th, which is a Friday of December, as you can see here. So I got it for free. So I didn't pay anything for it. Um, I initially, initially it was £7.20, but the person offered, um, I took an offer of £5.50. I'm not bad for free, really. So I made a profit of £4.2p. Not Great, but for free, you really can't grumble, to be honest. The next one, oh, Furby time! Furby! Furby! You like a bit of Furby? Chris B? Christopher B? You want to go, wow, wow? That's the one that I tested, and it made all those funny noises. It's a little Furby. 99 Tiger Electronics Furby. Original label. Black and brown. So I took a picture of the inside. It all worked, as you saw on one of my charity shop hauls on my YouTube channel. Anyway, so it sold on Saturday the 29th of December. A charity shop in Hook, so it's not far from where I live. Uh, got it on Monday the 11th of November, so mm, a little bit of time, but not too bad, really for the length for it to sell so I paid £4, I thought initially it was quite high to pay £4 for this little bundle of joy PAIN IN THE ARSE <laughs> noisy creature anyway as you, as you see here it was a 12% off sale so occasionally I run a 12% off sale just to get rid of some older items that are, are sitting around some newer stuff if the price is okay to, to do it, if you know. It was £25.20. With a 12% off, the person saved £2.64. Not bad, really. So it and went for £22.56 um, there. With a £10.1p profit. Not bad, really, to be honest, for a four quid investment. £10 profit overall. So, if you like Furbies, there you go. And do stay tuned, I've got another one coming up. Anyway, this one here, you saw in my vlog that I did over Christmas period and New Year. I packaged this one up in my vlog. How to paint Citadel miniatures. All the bitch undercoats and how you paint them, what colours they are. Diff different colours, for example. Dramatic lighting, stage by stage. Because I used to be a big Warhammer fan and play it myself in my teenage years. From about 11 till about 16. 15, 16. But don't play anymore, obviously. So, this one, um, it sold on the 30th of December. Not too bad, really. I picked up on a charity shop in Epsom on Tuesday the 11th of uh, oh no, sorry, the 4th, sorry. Tuesday the 4th of October. Let me just have a look if that's the correct one. Two seconds, guys. Uh, must be the second, actually, sorry, the second. Tuesday the second, if I remember rightly. Anyway, um, it's the same one that I got because that's from October. Because, um... I think when I came back from holiday, or was it when I went away? I can't remember. It was either when I came back, I got it for 25p, because they were doing deals on books and comics and that sort of thing. Or it was when I came back, I can't remember, or when I before I went away. One of them two, because I picked up two. One before I went away to Liverpool, 
And then one, when I got back, I can't remember exactly, to be honest, but I'll put it in the, um, on, on the side when it comes up. Because I like to know these things. Um, that sold for £13.20. Um, there. So, pre tax like, all the bits. So, I take off my PayPal, my eBay, PayPal fee, eBay fee, postage and that. So, it was about 8 quid, something like that. Not too bad, really. For a 25p investment. Oh, this sod. This has been round and round on eBay and off eBay and on eBay and off for, God, like, June 17. I got this on a Facebook pickup. Um, while I was away on holiday in España, Espanol, Spain, on my holidays. Viva España, all that jazz. And some guy messaged me on Facebook um, who gets around the tat chat. I won't name, na name names. And said I had some two lots of um, James Bond stuff. Okay, 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 cool. One of them I put around the um, car boots. We sold a few, but this lot... I didn't bother. It's been on eBay, off eBay, on eBay for a long time. No. Anyway, sold on Monday the 2nd of January. 20 times James Bond Ultimate Edition 2 disc DVD set. Plus Casino Royale and the Quantum of Solace. If you like your Bond DVDs, which I do, we've got a whole set. Not this set, but a different set. This is the Ultimate Edition with lots and lots and lots of special features. Here's Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace. Missing a couple, but hey-ho. And I had to go at the top. Let me know down below what your favourite James Bond film is overall, or top five. Mine is, favourite is um, Live and Let Die with the old um, Roger Moore. Live and Let Die is a classic. With the crocodiles and the um, Kananga and all that. I also like For Your Eyes Only. For Your Eyes Only. Octopussy was a classic as well. Goldeneye was the one of the best Pierce Brosnan films ever. I couldn't tell. So I like Live and Let Die, my first one. Probably second is probably um, For Your Eyes Only. A really good film. Um, which is... Yeah, For Your Eyes Only. And then Goldeneye 3... Because, especially with the game, and the N64 game, Nintendo 64 game, then I really like Moonraker, set on a, um, a, a Hugo Drax trying to conquer space or whatever it was. That's four. And then I do also like um, The Spy Love Me as well. Because my favourite James Bond is um, Pier, um, Roger Moore. Roger Moore... Then Pierce Brosnan, then Sean Connery, then Timothy Dalton, then uh, the other guy who did on the Magic Seeker Service when the two characters didn't get on. Da and Dave Daniel Craig. Ah, uh, saw Daniel Craig. Anyway, I've rambled on a bit much. So just a few photographs there, here and there. This one. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, Facebook. I'm not sure what I paid for them. I think it... Mm, I, don't, that, I don't know. It was a long time ago. I've forgotten. But, um... It's not a 12% off sale. Because I wanted them gone. I want them gone. They're gone now. I'm happy. Happy, happy. Because we were storing them in an outside shed. And they weren't damp or anything. Just cold. Not damp or nothing like that. They were £23. As you see at the top here. The 12% off, it went to £20.24 plus £6.80 postage, which went to £27.4p. I made a profit of £14.26 with my eBay, PayPal, postage fees taken off. So £14.26 fair. A good little profit at that one. The next one here, oh damn, it's blank. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Black, four times blank video cassettes, Harwood, Memorex, and TDX, TDK, and Philips. Because quite a lot of people do buy VHS tapes for their shop, or if they've still got VHS tapes, um, VHS players. Some people do. 
Not the older generation. They're all sealed. I got them. I'll just show you a few photographs. I got them um, a charity shop in June 2018. In the summertime. I paid £6 for a lot. So, um, yeah, £1.50 each. So £6 a lot. They're on again a 12% off sale. Because I wanted them gone. I was like, oh, they're sticking around a bit. I, I want them gone. I do that for older items that go. That stay around quite a bit. Sometimes new items, if they're, um, just to shift them really. If they're worth the hassle. If you know what I mean. Um, £20. 12% um, off sale. So, uh, overall I sold them for 1760 plus 420 posted, which is £21.80. So, I was happy with that. With a um, profit of £8.82. The annoying thing was, a lady went to a shop, um, a corner shop, in um, Norwich. Can't remember what the corner shop was called. Get down with a C. Anyway, cut a long story short. She was an English lady, and it went to the shop. Not her flat, the shop. And I was like, I'm an R in it. I put the right um, address in, and the actual um, tracking details. But she opened the case a few days ago. I was like, I was down at uh, my local charity shop, actually. I was in the car, I was like, oh, don't open the case, love. I knew what it was for. I was like, damn. So I put in the tracking details again. I found it when I got home again. And we mess mess messaging back and forth. And she was like, oh, I haven't got them. I was like, well, I, I said to myself, eh, someone's either signed for them in the shop, put them down somewhere, I lost them. Or the person who delivered them has signed for them and buggered off. Anyway, I've got up until the 25th of this month. She knows the tracking details. They know they've been signed for by someone. I won't disclose the name. She knows that. She hasn't messaged back ever since. So hopefully eBay, fingers crossed, touch wood, will find in my favour. But I don't know. On the 25th, if they close my favour, fine. If not, I've got an over £20 bill. Because it's the, what it's sold for originally and the postage. So I'm out of pocket, maybe. Which is a pain in the bum, but just what we've got to put up with, really. Uh, people! Anyway, calm down. Zen Zenith. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> Furby time, crispy. Um, This was sold on Sunday the 6th of January. Nice little original 99 yellow, blue and red tiger electronic interactive furby again i showed this little pain in the ass beauty in one of my charity shop hauls so got the little um bit and piece you need there furby original it made a lot of sounds i put the batteries in i always if i got a battery compartment i always take the picture of the battery compartment always just to be on the safe side because you, you never know, they could have a lot of corrosion in and don't work. But luckily this one worked with four AA batteries. I always say on there, it takes four times batteries, not included. Because people are thick in that respect. Anyway, this one again went on a 12% off sale, just to get rid of it. Um, I got it on a charity shop, Tuesday the 18th of December. Paid £3.50. Um, in an Epsom charity shop. So, um, yeah, this one went also went via promoting your listings as well. Um, this one as well. I, did, I promoted it and it went on that one as well, plus the sale. So, see, £24, sell for £21.12, £3.20. Um, yeah, uh, that's £24.32, it actually officially sold for, in the end. Someone's got a little bargain there, but it's nice to get a good Furby, because good Furby can fetch up to £20 to £30, or even more, if you've got a box, for example. So I made £13.70 profit, 
after everything's taking off. And not bad, really. Then I had a little slump of sales. I had 80 items relisted. I was like, okay, fair enough. At ne pretty much like an hour between certain items. So 80 odd items. So near enough at the same time, I was like, damn, 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 damn. Anyway, I did that. Sorted it all out. Promote them again. A bit of sales. And I didn't get any sales until this one, until 17th of January. So what I like to do is show you the good sales and the bad and tell you when they sold for because I don't always sell every day in that respect. So I like to share with you the trials and tribulations of eBay in that respect. So this is a nice David Attenborough DVD collection box set. Rating E because obviously exempt from any classification. You know David Attenborough? The old guy who does the photo um, men nature programs. This is a nice one to get. The Life of Birds, Trials, uh, Trials of Life and Life in the Freezer. There is another one, a bigger box set that demands more money. But this is the one I got. Life in the Freezer. Um, life, Trials of Life, complete series. This was a few years ago now when this was out. 2002, 3, something like that. The Life of Birds. People still buy DVDs. As you, as you saw with the um, 20 times James Bond DVD collection. They still buy DVDs. Even though we've got Netflix. And we can go online and go bang, 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 bosh. And go on to um, see the films. And that. Life of Birds. All that. Anyway. This sold on the 17th of January, a Thursday. Because most of my sales come in during the evening time. Between 7 and 12 o'clock at night. I get the odd sale during the day, but... Charity shop hall... A uh, charity shop in Hook. On Monday the 11th of November. Um, sold for um, £19 overall. So £15 plus £3.20 postage yet. Yeah. Which was £19. Not bad really. Because the other one is a bigger box set. Commands way over £25. On a good condition. Because you check the discs. I always check the discs in the DVD slot. And, and also check see if they've got any scratches on. If they're too scratched. I leave the DVDs. I don't buy really scratched DVDs. Sod that. Because I haven't got any of those uh, things that you... Machines where you can clean scratches. And I made £11.37 profit from a um, a £2, I think, it, no, £3 investment, sorry, £3 investment on that one. In that respect. The next one is Lost the Complete um, DVD box set. 37 discs over six seasons. Region 2, because a lot of these lost. Are region 4. One is region... F one of the... I think it's 4. 3 or 4. Is region 4 and 2. One of them is. People still buy DVDs. For some reason. Just show you all these. I think it's Derm Dermot Moynihan. Or whatever his name is. Him. Who was in... Um, Lord of the Rings. Played a Hobbit. A Hobbit. Let's go through. This one's a good one to have. I think I paid two or three quid for, for it. I didn't write it down for some reason. Got a charity shop in Chesington on Monday the 31st of December. Sold within a couple of weeks. The 18th of January, which you saw, which was a Friday the other day. Sold for, <coughs> excuse the voice, um, 23 plus £4.20 postage. That's 27 quid. £27.20. I made a good profit of £17.52 on his DVD box set. I know Nick, I think he had um, a DVD box set, Farscape. Is it, is it Farscape? Something like that, in one of his last um, sales videos. Something like that. I can't remember now. This last one here is a nice little alien. It's a talking light up 12 inch plush. I think away toys. You saw this in my one of my last charity shop hauls. When it lights up and it does all different kinds of things. 
from the Toy Story Alien, Disney China. It goes in the back there. I did take a picture of the battery compartment. All good, three double A's. Obviously, I said they need double A batteries. Da 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 da. Three times. This sold yesterday on the 19th of January because today I'm filming this is the Sunday the 20th. So, this I've got it on the 5th of January. So, it only took just over a week to sell to a lady who was buying it for her grandson. There is a set of these. It's obviously used because it's got a little bit of markings on the eyes and a bit, a bit grubbier. I did clean it up as best as I could. But she was buying it for her grandson because he had other collections like Woody, Buzz, all that. does bits and pieces, I think. And she was buying it for her grandson, which was a very nice gesture, really. I got a charity shop in Hook, um, which was... Oh, the 5th, I think. Yeah, the 5th of um, January when I got it. Because this sold on the 19th of January. I got it on the 5th, so a week ago-ish. Um, I only paid £2. I was under an whether it would work. Because I tried to test it first. It wouldn't work. So I filled it back with a battery compartment. As you can see um, in this one. I filled it back with the top. I took the top off here. I filled it back a bit. In the end, it did its business. It was lighting up, went all done, funny noises and all that. So I sold it for £24.20, as you can see, sold for on a postage. I made a profit of £14. So I always think Disney Toy Story toys sell quite well on that respect. So that's my... 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 um, items that sell for on eBay from the 19th of December to the 19th of January. Let me know what you think also of all the sales. Were they good sales? What your favourite sale was of mine? What you thought I got good profit wise? What was a bad profit? Um... What you liked about the photos, for example, anything really. Because I do try and show the good profit and the crap profit. Because I like to share, share with you the ups and the downs of it all. Also, do let me know with this one what your favourite James Bond DVD is, uh, film is. And your favourite James Bond actor who's played James Bond. All that leaves me to say is thanks for watching. Hopefully have a good time, rest of your week on whatever you're going to do. Like this video, share this video with friends and family. Do subscribe. Please subscribe. <laughs> Joking, yeah. Do subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Turn it on, smash it and whack it as well while you turn it on. Give it a turn on. And once again, thanks for watching and have fun. Cheers.